Hey, did you know that Unreal Engine has a tool that it's as easy to use as Photoshop and After Effects? Well, in terms of layer base, no possible. It's called Material Designer and it's part of the Motion Graphic plugin. I'm Andis, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Material Designer to create amazing materials without complex setups or nodes. And it even has the powerful animation capabilities, both with and without keyframes. Yes, you are right. We can create animations without a keyframe. So let's dive into it and discover how this incredible tool can simplify our design process. Okay, so I'm gonna start just on the blank level to show you how to quickly set up the motion design stuff. So pretty much we need to go in and plugins and enable our motion design plugin. I already have it enabled, then we're gonna restart. So pretty much we're gonna click here on motion design and it will start our you know motion design uh, mode. So also we can click here and create defaults and it will create the default element we need. In my case, I'm just gonna disable directional light because and skylight because I don't need them. I'm just gonna go for total all lit stuff and I'm gonna spawn it. So I'm just gonna set this view to checkerboard so we can see better. If you don't see this and you see a black, uh, like a black screen, make sure that you go to project settings, right? And in alpha, you type alpha and then you make sure that enable alpha channel is allowed through tone mapper. Is it to allow to throw map? Okay. So pretty much uh, I'm just gonna add a rectangle, right? Is we're gonna go. I have my rectangle here. So well, what I'm gonna do in here in material type, I'm gonna use material designer. So pretty much it will open, it, I'm, I will have like a new, you know, it will open a new tab. I'm gonna just pin it here. And this is our tab. So pretty much here we have the type that we want, which is a surface or a post process. I'm that working directly on a plane, so this is gonna be a surface. Here we select, you know, same approach. We we want it to be translucent, mask, or paint, additive, modulate. So this is pretty much basic and real engine, you know, understanding. So now we have here a global opacity. This is, you know, to kind of set the global opacity of our material. And it, it, it works only if it's translucent. If I take the mask and I drag down the global opacity, you will see it will, until it reaches a certain amount, it will disappear. Why? Because keep in mind the mask is transparency either zero or one. There's no, you know, like translucent or semi-transparent values at all. No, it's either, it's either transparent or opaque. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the first thing we have is the RGB tab and we have the opacity tab. Here in the opacity tab, we can also, you know, control the global opacity of all layers. So we're gonna see that uh, in a moment. So for now, I'm gonna set this to a white color to take it back full, full opaque. Okay, so now, sorry, here, right? The first thing we have is layers like in Photoshop, right? We can add new layers right here. So if I add new layer, I can select if I want that layer to be a texture or a texture, or no alpha or an alpha only solid color. I'm gonna I'm not gonna explain them one by one, but you know, they're self-explanatory. So pretty much, uh, when I add a texture and when you add a layer, sorry, you can also change also, you know, you can change back the type of layer that you want. So even though, for example, if I add a texture layer, but I want it to go now, I just want it to be a solid color. I can change it back to a solid color, right? So here in the in the left side, we have pretty much what is kind of the fill content, if we can say, if we can call it like that. And here we have the transparency of it. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly import this to, you know, this texture of a player. So just to give you an example. So this texture has transparency in it. So you'll see, you see it has transparency in it. But So then if I go here and click it, this texture, and then I just pick that texture, you will see that, you know, the texture will have automatically, you know, will automatically set the alpha channel. So when we working with textures, we have multiples control of it. We have the offset that we can use to move our texture. We have the rotation use, you know, self, self explanatory as well. And also we got the scale, right? And we got the pivot point. 
So people point is like, for for example, if I rotate, you will see that they will rotate from here because I got the people like in this area. As you can see, if I rotate, it's pretty much the people from where the transformation will like uh, take place. You see? So let me just set this back to five so we can mirror our texture as you can see it or mirror on wide. Really cool, really, really cool. So pretty much these textures is a uh, it's a square texture, so I'm gonna just quickly set my 500 to 500. Oh, sorry, let me just set this to free. 500 to 500, so it fits. So here we got our texture here. Let me just back to my material designer. And now, you see that if I move it, the texture is like tiling, right? This is where clamp texture comes in play. So if I click on clamp, right, you see the texture disappear. Why? Because this texture will be clamping. The texture will not be, you know, will not be tiling. So if I move it, see it? Okay, so you know that pretty much uh, this is like a layer-based system. So it's like we can have multiple texture. So for example, I'm gonna use another picture of player. So in this case, I'm gonna import this guy for now. So I'm gonna take this guy here, right? I'm just gonna clamp it. And then as you can see, I'm like, you know, you can use it to build like, uh, like really cool stuff, you know, just on a single plane. And keep in mind that everything here can be exposed to the remote control preset and also can be animated. So we can animate those values. So it's like, for example, I can create a keyframe where both textures are out. For example, let me just do it quickly. So I'm going to create a key for this one. And then I'm going to create another key for this one. And okay so i'm gonna then and if i animate this oops so i'm not gonna animate this here and then i'm gonna animate this here so and so simple so we created an animation of just those guys coming in you see really 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 simple and also we can we can add animators to it it's like for example uh, i'm gonna take this uh this picture and i'm gonna add a, let me see you can add a, an oscillate so i'm gonna add an oscillate to the xy right and you see how it's you know i'm adding animations automatically without you know without keyframe here so if i go to my operator stack here and i go to my animators and then i click to my guy, you will see here I got the oscillator. So let me take the ma the level magnitude down. So I don't want it to be much offset, and then I want it to be really slow. So it's a really really nice way to animate uh, without keyframe. And the best thing is that it works on the material itself. So pretty much another cool thing is like uh, for example, let's suppose I want to add alpha only, right? Okay, so pretty much uh, this is this texture here in the alpha. We're gonna work on the alpha, right? Uh, okay, just FYI, uh, in this uh, this chain is pretty much to link like the mapping, you know, the mapping settings I have. For example, if I move the offset here, but if I want to unlink it, you will see that I can click on the alpha and I can add its own offset to the alpha and you know its own mapping parameter. So pretty much it's just to unlink it. So, in this case, right, I added no content here. You can see that we can toggle the layer base on, and we can just add, set use the alpha for the layer that is below of it. So in this case, I just have a, like a like a you know white square that is covering everything. So if I change this, for example, to a I don't know radial gradient. All right, something really cool that we can do also is add layer effects to our, you know, to our material. So pretty much we have alpha level, you know, we have color effects, like for example, we got this, see this photo filter, where we can, you know, tint. Uh, something to keep in mind, it's that the, for now, for now everything is like a pretty like hard coded and kind of hard to understand, I think. Because for example, this color tint, it's supposed to be RGB, right? red, green, and blue, you might like to have like something cool like in Photoshop, but you know, it's an experimental stage. So we gotta kind of just get uh, get used to it. So for example, I can increase the red on him, decrease the green, increase the blue, you know? So 
we got multiple color stuff. We got levels, for example. If I, you can see them by clicking on here, right, on this effects icon, and then you will see that we have a main, max, gamma. So pretty much, you know, pretty similar to what we got in Photoshop. We have some cool vignette, tint, color correction. We got, we have also distortion. So for example, this wave warp, you see it. So this is really cool because. They are, it's animated, so so it's animated since it's where it's using a real engine time system to animate it. So it's really really cool. So now other cool thing that we have is like uh, is like in the UV right. We have this UV panner. So this UV panner will allow us to animate also yeah like automatically our you know our materials. Like for example, let's suppose you have a I don't know a thicker texture of some banner that is moving. So you see like this gonna be animated and it's gonna be panning to that side. So uh well pretty much it's not repeating because I have this disabled it, but you will see you see that if I enable back the if I disable the clamp, sorry, it will think, you know, it will automatically animate to that. So this is really, really cool. So we got also pixelate effect. It's a nice, it's a nice effect, like uh, you know, to add those old old style. So pretty much the material, this material editor is really, really powerful. Yeah, well, sorry for that, my Unreal Engine just crashed. So this is an issue we're facing for now. Uh, it's crashing a lot on the material designer whenever you're doing something and then you kind of undo things like so constant, so constant or quick. So for some reason, it just, boom, go away, it just crash. So again, but experimental stuff. So pretty much, uh, here we got the global opacity again that will only work if we are in translucent mode right but then we have an opacity kind of section to we can compose the opacity of the whole composition we have here so let me quickly add another texture so let me just uh, the texture so here right uh in this case there's an horizontal gradient we can offset it. You will see like how we can just quickly create this effect, like an uh, in effect, for example, or we can rotate it like 90 degrees. And then instead of coming from above, we will, and then, oh, sorry, then we can move it like that because we rotate it, sorry. So it's really, really simple. So here we can also compose effects. So for example, I'm just gonna change this to a, to a radio gradient as well, as you can see it. So when I scale it, it will be like this. So it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much simple. I mean, it's really it works the same way that it works here on RGB, but it only works. It will affect only the opacity. I mean, the opacity part of it. And again, we still have the same. You know, we just have the same same setting we have. We can create key at any point, or we can expose the properties to the remote control. So. Now you know about this cool feature in Unreal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Moonkey Visual for more tutorials and tips. You can also find cool exercises and extended, extended version of this tutorial on my Patreon page. The link is in the description. Please leave a comment below if you have any question or there is something specific you would like to learn about, you know, what, something you would like to learn. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.